So what you're gonna do is to make life easy for you. Yeah. You're gonna paint this a bright color. Okay. Just a square. Okay. You're gonna paint this here a bright color, match it. Okay, whatever color so you when choose. So you look through your backup camera. Blue, that color blue. When you look up through your backup camera, yeah. you're lining up the colors. Yeah. You notice this is not centered. That's so why. it's gonna cause you to go crooked. So if you line up the colors, okay. you can all work on the lining right up. Brilliant. So you're all set on that. Thank you. When you drop it down, you want to make sure once the ball is on there, yeah. you're going to start the truck up again, yeah. drive, and you're just going to roll forward. You're going to bring the ball inside the coupler to the furthest point. So this way this doesn't jam up when you try to lock it. Okay. Okay. So go do that now? Well, yeah. Well, right now you're perfect. It locked oh. right in. Okay. So this in the lock position means yeah. you're good. At Go this back. point, with the hitch, once you've locked it, you're going to press up on the jack. Up. Oh, and then you install the bars. And then you put the bar. So what happens is the bar right now is like this. As you raise it up, the bars come closer to the bracket. Yeah. Then you can put your bars on. And then bring it back down a level. That's, That's the part I know I'm going to forget. If no, I don't no, watch trust me. Once you've done it the one thing, you're doing the same process, but backwards when detaching. So when you're at your camping spot, yeah. you're about to drop it here. Yeah. You're gonna raise it up, remove the bars, bring that it back down. That the tension. And then unlock the And then undo that, yep. yeah. You have more truck than camper. So you don't need weight distribution. Okay. Right now the bars are just gonna help you to sweat. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, yeah, I like that. So take your bar on that side. Okay. Then you're gonna move your head. I'm gonna do what? Do you notice on one side of this bar is a sticker? Yeah. You want the sticker facing up. Facing up. With these holes right here, left to right. So okay. you're gonna slide it here in the bracket. Alright. Put the pin back in. Yep, take your detaining pin, put it right through the needle. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, just wiggle it in. There you go. Okay. Once you're done at that point, you're gonna bring the <laughs> See? All the way in. Yeah. There you go. Oh, okay. I'm not to guess. Sorry. Okay. At this point, if you feel, back hold on to the bar. Yeah. If you bring it closer to the bracket, you feel the catch. Oh, yep. That's what protects you against sweat. Okay. If you never sweat the tech, the bar's going to straighten the pin. Oh, nice. That's what it's doing. Okay. So at this point, you're going to remove the pin here. Okay. Okay. You're going to take your bar by hand and gently put it above the bracket. Just like that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Now, take the bar off one more time. Yeah. In some cases, bring it way out. There you go. Perfect. You go like right there. All right. You drop it right there. So, in some cases, you're not going to be physically able to because of the ground. Okay. Just put it over the bracket. So, what you can do is use this pry bar. Uh -huh. So, you take the pry bar. Yeah. So you do that. Anyway. So it's like a gooseneck fry bar. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull the bar back. Yeah. Put it on top of the bird. Yeah. Put it on top of the bar. Uh, well, in this case, so you gotta. You're, you're looking at it like this. Like this. Yeah. Like that. Yep. And then you pry it on like it. that. And that's it. That's if you're not able to do it by hand. Right. This way you can pop it. I out. saw you do that last time. And that's it. Take the tiny pin, L face over. This was too easy this time. 